today on questions you were afraid to ask. What's the difference between a membrane keyboard and a mechanical keyboard? Let's go over it real quick. This is a membrane keyboard. If you're watching this video, more than likely this is a keyboard you are familiar with. It usually comes with pre-built computers from companies like Lenovo and Dell. For the most part, there's two general types of membrane keyboards. Those that simulate laptop-like scissor switches, like on this that has a very short travel, and travel is the distance between the top of the keystroke and the bottom of the keystroke. And then there are membranes that are mechanical-like. They have keycaps that are similar to keycaps on mechanical keyboards, and they actually simulate different types of switches, like on this one, it is simulating silent tactile switches, so it has almost no sound, but it does have that tactile bump on both of them. To open a membrane keyboard, that usually involves removing screws and or batteries. A lot of the aluminum mechanical keyboards that have come out, like this Wacav Stars 80, have what is called a quick release mechanism, allowing for the top part of the case to easily be released and the rest of the keyboard easily accessible for any modifications or changes that you want to make to the stock configuration. And one of the easiest ways to tell the difference between a membrane keyboard will be the keycap. Keycaps on membrane keyboards are going to have these squarish to rectangular type clip-like mechanisms that go down into a plastic dome, whereas mechanical keyboards will have that cross that will work both with regular cross switches as well as cross with square switches. I do hope that this video provided a pretty good and quick explanation as to the primary differences between a mechanical and a membrane keyboard. Should you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. Until then, keep calm and keyboard on.